Today we're checking out The Ideal Planner by Emma Chamberlain. Now, if you've never heard of her, I haven't either, and she is a Gen Z YouTuber. She was actually on the cover of Cosmo as the most popular girl in the world. She has a pretty cool background. She quit high school, like junior year, and then just became a successful YouTuber after that. I saw like a report that her net worth was three million. Who knows whether or not that's true. I just found it on the internet. But I think this is probably the dream of everybody, not this planner, but to just quit high school and just make videos because you love doing it. Anyways, she happened to make a planner. It's called The Ideal Planner. I got it on Amazon, so we're gonna look at that today. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturdays. So this was really cool only because this was the first time, honestly, where I felt old because I was watching some of her YouTube videos like after I discovered this planner totally on accident and I just it was one of those things where I watch a lot of YouTube but I was like I just don't get it like she belches on camera a lot and she's like yeah people ask me if I can edit that out but no I'm not going to she's like you must love all of me so I do like your self-confidence uh and she just kind of is hanging out doing random stuff which I guess is the dream but anyways it was uh this is a planner that she made called the ideal planner which i think kind of reflects her own personality so that was perfect too it's an undated planner it was i will tell you exactly how much it was it was 18 dollars 67 on amazon prime so it is completely affordable there was nothing uh over the top expensive about it and i'm sure i don't know how much how many they made of these like millions but I'm sure it did cost, if you were to produce one of these, you'd have to get them done in China. There's absolutely, in case you're like, I wanna make one of these, there's no way you could make one of these domestically. There's no US vendor that's gonna make it for you for like under $100. Uh, so what was my point? You're gonna have to get these made in China. You're gonna have a bulk order. And obviously if you're as popular as Emma Chamberlain, that wouldn't be a problem. She also has a coffee company where she sells coffee. And I think she, it said she's a really popular podcaster, but as you know, I would rather watch like grass grow, paint dry, anything than listen to a podcast. So I know nothing about her podcast, but it sounds like that is another lucrative, like passive income stream for her as well. So let's look inside this planner though. I love this spine. I'm a huge fan of these like hardcover spines that really, oh look, there's a, even a protection page, that hide a spiral on the inside. So that way when it's sitting on your shelf, it looks like a hardbound kind of book or binder, but really it has a spine. So uh, it looks like this was traditionally published, yeah, Simon & Schuster Gallery Books, which is usually the only ones who kind of do that format, unless you are going to work directly with vendors in China. But let's go ahead and check out the Ideal Planner. So uh, all the pages lay flat, which is really nice. I'm a huge fan of that. Here's a picture of her in middle school. This planner belongs to every planner should have that right uh we have dates we have january through december we have draw your bag we have favorite we have write down nicknames for all your friends we have a mood board we have write a letter to yourself to read a year from now we have an undated planner so here we have a month it starts on a sunday i'm a big fan of starting on sunday a little space for notes over here and then we have a horizontal layout Monday through Sunday, which does make sense. It, I think starting on a Monday is always a good idea. And it looks like a, I bet this is just a rinse and repeat planner. Let's see. You get five weeks, you get a coffee crossword, which makes sense. She sells coffee. Uh, bucket lists are stupid, but they're also kind of fun. I don't know what that is. Um, and then design a phone case. And we have your sign. Oh, this is fun. Uh, let's see. What am I? I don't even know what I am. I mean, I don't really know my real birthday because I was adopted and I was abandoned. So I kind of just usually ignore these things because it may or may not really apply to me. All right. So now we get another month. So I think she tries to put something cool in between for each month. So let's just jump ahead. What am I looking forward to? Oh, look. Kiss, marry, kill. That's funny. <laughs> 
Um, aw, I don't, this must be a Gen Z thing. I was like, oh, it's a cute puppy. No, it's just a little odd. What am I looking forward to? Doodle, uh, design a dress, uh, fashion. Would you rather, and there's these questions. All right, we got another month. And it looks like kind of follows the same pattern. So we have a, something to color, a list of people you haven't talked to in a while, a list of bad habits to break, another crossword, pro, pro, oh, cuss words, funny. Um, picture of Emma, toilets. I guess she really likes toilets. I saw in her Instagram, she was like talking about bodily functions and going number two. So sounds like this planner is very much aligned with her personality and her style. If you could start a business, what would it be? Your future. Oh, this is one of those ones you tear out that's those like, uh, you know, card things. I don't know. Those things you make with your hand. Yeah, there, there's the directions. Cooties. Um, and let's skip ahead to the next month. So we have a blank page. Draw something scary. Quotes are so corny. Goals for the month. Aliens on a little boat. Uh, sketch a tattoo idea. Body parts little thing so this is entertaining like it kind of reminds me of do you remember highlights for kids um but this obviously has naughty words and stuff there we go uh let's see design a magazine cover write a review about the last restaurant that did you dirty uh something to color uh monkeys a gazelle <laughs> um a, a pattern what do you think aliens look like? Sketch ideas. Analyze one of your dreams. Write down something you never, ever told anyone ever. And draw a cartoon version of yourself. We have party animal, body parts. Write a letter to your current crush. Dates are BS overall. Um, and let's go to the next one. What do you love about yourself? Draw a card that doesn't exist. Plan a fun day for you and your friends. Um, draw a picture of your pet. I cannot draw, so this would be would probably be empty. Draw an eye, draw a picture of a yummy meal. Swipe right, draw your dream house. Yeah, I think this is really great for people who are good at drawing or enjoy drawing, even if they're not good at drawing. <laughs> What's something you want really bad? List five new things you want to try or have always wanted to try. I like that there's something new each month. Let's see, pattern, vent about something that is bothering you. You wake up with a million dollars. What do you do with it? Draw your favorite pair of shoes and draw yourself as a superhero. Come up with an epic movie plot. Plan a prank. Write down whatever you want. And where have I been? Where I want to go. And we're getting towards the end. All right, and then some fruit, <laughs> write a poem about something random, draw your favorite place, aesthetic, uh, everything that makes me smile, and important contacts, and passwords, and notes. So that's everything. So what did you think? I mean, after watching some of her videos on YouTube, I'm like, this is a good depiction of her personality and who she is. So I think this is perfect if you're a big Emma Chamberlain fan. And just, you know, speaking from a planner standpoint, I think it is beautifully constructed. I really like this. There was another girl, I can't remember, this is a few years ago, who also had a planner that was like this as well. Uh, and she, it was traditionally published just like this one. So another uh, larger company, obviously, obviously front of the bill to get the mass made over in China. And so I think it's a very sturdy construction. It's very user friendly because when you put it on the shelf, it looks like a hardback. Yet when you open it up, you can write in it perfectly like a spiral. So from that standpoint, it's really great. Plus it's in color and I do like that style. Like if this is an undated planner you were thinking about making, you don't have to do this exact like format with the hardback and the spirals. But I do like that there's a couple of coloring pages, some things Things to think about, uh, questions you can ask in between, and you can pick any theme. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to be Emma Chamberlain. You could do a theme on business. You could do a theme on self-esteem. You could do a theme on fitness or on self-confidence or budgeting or content planning, whatever it is that you want your planner to be about, but yet have some undated 
uh, months and weeks inside there. So I think A plus, uh, great job on getting this done. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And also if you're a big Emma Chamberlain fan, uh, let me know what you love about Emma Chamberlain and why you like watching her YouTube channel. All right, I hope everyone's having a great day. And remember, if you would like to create your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free course, Planner 101. I will leave a link to that below. And I hope everyone's having a great day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.